bobbing between those two <laughs> those two extremes. I know I, I like I enjoy austerity. Well, here's a guy who says uh, he has trouble getting the Dead Z album. But yeah, uh, what do you think of Bob Dylan's statement? He just said I love it. Bob Dylan. I, but wait a second, I just read. He says, well. No, uh, the music being put out today, the sound of the records isn't any good. He's right. And they said to him, well, what do you think about people illegally downloading? He says, I haven't heard any good music in the last 20 years, and they deserve to, uh, to get it for free, the people, because the music sucks. Isn't that an insult to young artists? No, because Bob Dylan is God, and whatever he says goes, and he's right. <laughs> he, he's okay. right? It sounds like he's mad. Right. Sucks. Bob gets music. mad. You know what, man? He, 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 you got to understand, as you probably are well aware, I mean, he, he's of an age in music that was so profound that he looks at our dinky little, you know, excuse of a, a, you know, the era that finally capitalism, you know, has infiltrated the arts and just made everything really mundane. So he's upset. He's a guy who feels passionate about music. He, but wait a second. He yeah. liked getting money for his yeah, album. Of course. He liked uh, be getting the rewards. He's I'm inciting sure. the artists, I think, to take risks out there and saying, dudes, wake up. Oh, you know come on. I, I don't All like right. it. I think okay. he's out of line saying right. that. Okay. I think it's an arrogance on his part. Yeah. There are people making some good music out it, it, there. It, it, they it, deserve to make rare. money. Yeah, absolutely. You're right. You're right. You're you right. Know? And by the way, he probably did all this to promote a new album. Though. Yeah, probably got something There's coming There's a lot out. of That's people, right. though, Howard, who are just in it to... You know, sell the kids something that is not worth their money. Well, well, when that's was true. that not the case? Of course, but at least <laughs> at any given time in the '70s, you could pull up the top 40 and have like 40 amazing things that you know. So you know what? Play the top five out and see if you agree with what Dylan said. Well, I'm not talking about some of the pop stuff, but I am talking about the you know uh, what what Metallica makes a point. They deserve make, to make money for their records. Why and not? They have and they deserve yeah, it. Of course. Uh, Bob, you're on the air in Paramus, New Jersey. Hey, good morning, everybody. Uh, Elijah, back when you were talking about, like, Paris Hill. Oh, and, God. And Here we go, baby. Let's hear it. What's the question? Uh, was there any ass play with any of these frogs? Yeah, ass play. What about Dude, no, 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 no. You're not into this? No, not, 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 into not, not, not really. Not really. It's a little bit, I'm uh, not, 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 uh, not a fan. Not a right? fan of ass play. Would you want to write a song about it? Are you with anybody about? right now? Um, yeah, wait, who's your girlfriend now? Let's let's hear what's going uh, well, on. Well, as you know, you know, uh, you, you probably want to stay available to the young women in the That's consumer right. sense you want to remain so you're on the market. List. That's right. You're on the market. That's good. Yes, Gary, what is it, Bob? Here's, here's, here's a good song. Here's a good song. I was just wondering, the whole time that you were living at your mom's house, did you ever like wake up one morning and see a dude in your kitchen and go, I can't believe this person's in my house. Like, I can't believe like Superman's in my house. No, well, I mean, I'll, I'll tell you one story. When, when, we, when, we were, when we were here and, and whenever I run into him, he always insists on reenacting the whole first meeting was when, when Kilmer was, he was, Val Val he was 21. He was really young. Well, my mom was here doing uh, Jimmy Dean. We were living over at the Mayflower and he, you know, he cruised in and I remember just like mad dogging him, you know, and just like looking at him and he always like reenacts the whole thing whenever I run into him. And I sat there and just looked at him for 15 minutes, just like big time. You know, when I was a little kid, I was yeah. just big time adults. So I'd just be like, well, you think you're going to walk into my house? You like Where's Val Kilmer? Is he the I guy? Love Val, he yeah. gave you a human scalp as a gift. Yeah. Yeah. What's that all about? How do you I got, do you? Okay, I got some yeah. message from a, a Native American dude who's like, I want you to put that scalp to rest back in the earth. <laughs> and I, on an email, right? On, on well, MySpace. How old were you when Val Kilmer gave you a, a human scalp? Well, he was, you know, he was around when I was about six, so that was probably... Uh, was he know, Batman? Five and six, 81, 83. So he wasn't Batman yet? No. No. This, no. This, Early. Is, he had, he, this is before Real Genius. This is, he had just done, uh, you know, the Farley Brothers, or no, the, the Zucker Brothers movie, uh, uh, um, Tops... No, no. Isn't it illegal? Top Secret. Top Secret. That's, yeah, 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 that's right. Isn't yeah. it illegal to own a human scalp? I don't think it is. It's an artifact. Scalp. It's, it's an artifact. It's it an is? artifact. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Where do you have it now? Yeah, where is the human scalp? Uh, it's in a glass case where it's been all these years, and I, I, I have it. Uh, I actually don't have it hung up right now. Why do you want that? He keeps it next to his stuff magazine. Because, 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 you know what? because I, Val gave it to me, <laughs> you know? I, but you know what? You want to know something? Yeah. I used to be, I had a weird period where I used to collect skulls. Not human skulls, but yeah, human skulls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. I had the opportunity to buy a human skull, and I, and I was going to go buy it, and I, you know, I thought it was kind of cool. Put it on my desk and put a cigar in it. Oh. And then I found out it was a Chinese woman, a local yeah. Chinese woman. Yeah. I said, you know, somewhere, this was a woman's life. Did, did she imagine she'd end up on Howard Stern's desk with a cigar yeah, in her mouth? Yeah, she's an ornament. You know, yeah. I, 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 in some way, isn't it? It's sacred, in a sense. Yeah. It's a man who lived, his scalp is now artwork. I was just daydreaming on the fallout from the Tilex 
comment. Oh, you're back on time. Like, see, I like to imagine hey, you that, your the, penis. Uh, Why not? Yeah. Why not be safe? Who Exa cares? Exactly, dude. Right. I, you know, the funny the funny thing was is I was I was absolutely genuine in doing it. And my friends were just laughing hysterically. Like, dude, you're serious right now. I'm a germphobe. Yeah. I'm with you. If, yeah. I, if I was to do that, I'd be scrubbing down with something yeah. weird. One wonders what parents well, how, little Howard Hughes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Way Howard Hughes. Yeah. Yeah. Artie has Babe Ruth's nuts in a jar, so you can talk about this. Well, Babe, you know, look, he deserved that. was nuts given away. But I, I like to assume that maybe the guy's scout you know, he was a bad guy. Yeah, like like when people were in a plane crash. Think of all the assholes that were on the plane. I don't know. Elijah Blue's new album is called Phantasmagore. What's the band called? It's called Dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and it's available in stores now. Yeah. Elijah, great to see you. You're always a great interview. Yeah, we, we love, love to hear all of your stories. Okay. Go out, live life, get addicted again. Go out, and fuck. Come, no. tell us about it. Come back in a couple. Uh, of stay of off the shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't want to make it go. a thing where girls don't want to go near me because they think I'm gonna. I just think you know, these are elements of my younger days. Is that I don't have any sort of sacred attachment. Oh, yeah, you're to. a great guy now. Okay, yeah. any new broads you bang, you're going to be off the air, right? Okay, you had Lindsay Lohan yet? I don't know anything about her. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. <laughs> you had her, didn't you? No, 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 never heard of her. Don't know her. Throw no, your no, hand in that no, ring. Dude, 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 dude. Never had her. No, I don't know her. All right, never heard of her. Yeah. Okay. How'd it go, man? How was the interview? It went well, man. You know, it's uh, it's funny because it's you, know, you you think when you're talking, it's like I'm just talking about events of my life that aren't necessarily like throwing things or people under the bus, but it's somehow it always kind of ends up being like that by nature of the fact that it's stirring. So I think we had a great show. Like I talked to you before, um, you know, I, I sort of covered all the bases that I wanted to cover, and uh, you know, I, I like riffing with Howard. It's fun. You know, it's it's a cool environment. It stimulates me. It keeps me on my toes. It makes me sort of think for the right sort of cryptic responses and. You know, it's 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 a great it's a great thing to be on here. I back what he's doing. You know, I, I like that he's sort of on the cusp of, of all the sort of you know advances in media, and you know, I just I have a great deal of respect for him. So just the association with me to be on the show means a lot to me. And you were you were also concerned that you know maybe you wouldn't come across the right way while telling these stories yeah. about your life. Do you think? Think you achieved like the right balance? Or yeah, I mean, it's like a lot of those things. You know, the other people kind of have it coming. It's like you know, like I said before, it's like I was a little bit ticked off about the seven thousand phone calls I got when what's her name's cell phone got on the internet. And so, you know, I don't know if it's a retribution for that, but um, you know, it's 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 always fun, uh, you know, to uh, you know, I'm poor parents, she's an easy target, you know. I'm, you think she sort of had it coming to her for all the crap? I mean, it's not, I don't think it's anything that bad. I mean, I, you know, she's, I still consider her a friend or whatever, but it's like, I, you know, I, you know, these girls, they get this kind of crazy fame and they're just so in the fucking stratosphere, man. It's just, you know, it's, um, you know, this are not sort of people who live in the real world, you know what I'm saying? So it's just anything kind of